What's up guys, Midwest Tour Review here back again. We are cranking videos out. I'm telling you, man, we're just knocking them down, putting out content, loving it. Reason why we're dropping all these episodes uh, on my toolbox tour is because I'm getting ready to go on vacation, as I have said in other videos, and I'm leaving in like less than 24 hours. So I wanna have content ready for you guys that I can release every couple days, kind of keep up with the algorithm, keep up with the same response. And you guys, hey, you're not the ones going on vacation, so you wanna see content from the Midwest Tour Review channel. So I wanna give you what you're asking for. I wanna make sure that you're getting your needs taken care of while I'm gone. And, uh, and then while I am gone, I will be posting content from Florida. Um, so there'll be content out there as well. Um, and I just want to make sure that you guys are, uh, getting fed. You got to get, I got to keep you guys fat and happy. So, but right now we're going to go outside of the shop and, uh, we're going to do a tour of my service box on my truck. And, uh, I added some things periodically. I'm always adding stuff in here and, uh, you know, I'm going to struggle doing this. And uh, I'm always adding stuff to this box. And I don't always share it because I'm like, well, who wants to see when I add a ratchet? I mean, that doesn't sound like fun, right? Oh, there we go. All right, what do we got back here? What you got in that bag? Well, we're gonna show you. If you wanna know. Okay. People are out banging music out here. I swear I live in a, I live in a nice neighborhood, guys. It's not crazy. I mean, you know, it's just uh, it's noisy today because it's warm. <laughs> All right, <coughs> I didn't realize that was open like that. Okay, so what do I got in my bag, in my box, my service box is what I call it. So I carry my Cobalt 3 dry, which is my workhorse. It literally does like. If I don't need a half inch drive, this is all I need. It, it has that much power, it is that reliable, it works that well. I also carry a quarter inch drive um, uh, impact uh, uh, gun in here as well for like doing interiors because if you're at a salvage yard, you're trying to like get things done and you're not trying to take forever and a day to get it taken apart with the screwdrivers. So sometimes it's nice to have one of these with you. I have a, a set of Bosch bits as well. Just kind of random ones I picked up on a uh, tool haul from um, Home Depot. Was it Home Depot? No, it wasn't Home Depot. It was, uh, hang on, I gotta do this. It was Lowe's. Yeah, it was not, that wasn't, that wasn't too shabby. Uh, let me see here. So, uh, in this box, what else do we got? We got the Capri tools. Um, somebody text me too. Got the Capri tools, Torx bits, E-Torx, regular Torx, full set. If you guys saw, probably saw my Capri tools video, you know how I came about getting those. Um, basically someone stole tools from me and I had to replenish and so, my wife said get the best and I thought well you know what I'm getting the capris because they're the best um, cobalt set here um, this set here my brother-in-law shout out to big Mike Mike's garage he's he bought me these for Christmas man that's my boy man he probably was the person who was texting me but he bought me this full bit set and uh, yeah I carry it with me man so big Mike uh, I got a set of uh, SK um, 3H drive sockets that I keep this towel in here to keep them moisturized. Uh, well, primarily it's from jumping around, but it's a full set all the way up to 26. When have you ever seen a set of sockets that went from 6 to 26? That is the weirdest thing ever, but it's what SK offered at that time. And so I picked this up off of Facebook Marketplace for like, I don't even know what it was, like 20 bucks 30 bucks something like that i don't know what it was but it was stupid cheap and um i jumped all over it man I'm telling you guys if you're not on facebook marketplace then you're not serious about owning tools because uh man there's there's deals to be had out there random hammer tool bag because sometimes you you know you don't want to go lugging a full box full of tools into the salvage yard uh, various straps, 
um, for tie down straps, pulling straps. I got straps in the truck. I got another, this is a snap-on tool bag here. Carry that one with me because sometimes my brother goes, well, most of the time my brother goes with me, uh, Big Mike, and uh, he has tools that he needs to carry or I'm asking him to carry my stuff too so I can give him a bag as well. We've got, because I own property, so I'm always going up to do property, work on my property, so I have um, um, double, uh, double bladed axes and malls and things of that nature that I carry around. I also carry chainsaws and things of that nature as well. Uh, I'm not your typical black guy, I guess you guys are probably saying right now. Huh? <laughs> uh, I got ch uh, chains for pulling. I got another quarter inch drive that I didn't even realize was down at the bottom of there. I've been looking for it. This is brand new. I got this guy and another one for like 20 bucks at Lowe's on a... Uh, they were discounting them, like significantly discounting them. The only good deal I ever got from Lowe's. A um, bunch of old uh, spark plug, or uh, what do you call them? Ignition coils and all that kind of stuff that I was taking out the BMW. Here's my uh, Porter Cable. If you're not on Porter Cable, guys, I'm telling you, dude, this gun has been through holy hell and it still works great. I mean, not a single complaint. And uh, I'll, I'll still use it until it burns up and like catches my hand on fire. I'm going to be using this thing all the time. I need to put that inside of there. I've got, I'm going to be putting onboard air on my truck here pretty soon. So until then, I also have this old Snap-on MG31 that it actually works really good. I rebuilt it. Uh, it works great. And so I keep it on board as well because you never know if you need to have run air. Got a set of work pro um pliers or wrenches on here just a random set um you know if you're on the side of the road and you know you need to help somebody do a quick repair in the snow or the mud and you don't want to get your nicer stuff dirty you can grab those and go to town no real mechanic ever does anything without a mirror so i keep a mirror in here as well i'm not a mechanic just an fyi but i aspire to be one <laughs> Um, didn't know that was down here. Half inch drive swivel. Got a little two pound hammer that uh, I actually went to an estate sale and a guy passed away and uh, there's his name on there. And he had made this, he had machined it in his own garage and uh, I bought it for like a dollar. And uh, it's one of the most um, useful tools that I have and a tool that I will never let go. So I'm trying to make sure that I use it in his, in his memory, so. Every time I'm striking something, he's probably looking down laughing. Uh, extension cord down there is a short one just in case. Oh, uh, let's see here. It's a great day to do an outside toolbox tour. I hope you guys are staying with me because this is, I'm enjoying this one. I don't care if you guys watch this one two minutes. Um, I, I'm enjoying doing this video. Here's my cheap torque set. I even wrote on there cheap. <laughs> 3 inch drive. I bought these because I wanted some longer tours. I have a snap-on set, but I wanted some that I can take to the salvage yard and not be scared about breaking one or losing one. And then my other Capri, I think these are the hex bits. This is what the guy stole. He stole these. And I just got mad and bought the Torx and the hex. I think my daughter's coming home. Maybe. I don't know. Um, here's a set of uh, hex bits. All the way up to 14 from 2 to 14 so nice set keep them nice well oiled I'm telling you guys if you have an outside box make sure you keep your stuff oiled heavily oiled so that you don't uh they don't rust on you because they will rust especially here in the midwest so okay here's the meat and potatoes what do i got in terms of meat and potatoes Okay, so Snap-on box, because, you know, Snap-on fanboy, as some people call me. Um, on top here, we've got our 3H drive Snap-on um, shallow set. It goes from like 6 all the way up to 22, 22 millimeter, and that's a full set there. Um, we have a set of right tools, a right tool, 3H drive, um, our um, 3H drive uh, swivel sockets, but these are the deep ones. Absolutely love these sockets. I beat the crap out of these things, and I keep them oiled. I keep them taken care of. I don't lose them. 
guys, man, I'm telling you, dude, I probably, every one of these has probably been used. You can see the dirt on there. It's not staged. Um, let me see here. What is, which one is the dirtiest one? This one, let's look at this one here. What is that? So I'm always talking right tool up, man. They need to be like hooking, bro, hooking a brother up. That's not, look at the ammo in on there. That's not bad. I mean, they deformed a little bit, but I mean, if that was a snap on, dude, that'd be chewed up like big time. And uh, someone said, yeah, Milwaukee impact guns eat up sockets and they ain't lying. Um, don't you follow my hand? Set of SAE all the way up to one and a 16. Uh, these are Craftsman, not the USA, which they were. Um, somebody's somebody's getting on it guys um deep sockets uh full set there uh let's keep these here laying on top got another set of come on now don't be that way ah it's because i got the box moved too far too far back um got a set here of right tool Shallow sockets, 3H drive, full set, metric set, all the way up to 19 millimeter. Been using these guys, as you can see. All, all my uh, all my right tools, I try to get those used a lot. I try to use them heavily. And the reason why is because I've been talking right tools up. And the only way to really know if these sockets are going to do well is to actually get them out and use them. So I got a full set there. Um, I got a set of proto um, quarter inch drive swivel sockets there by Black, or not proto, but Blackhawk, sorry. Um, haven't got a chance to use these yet, so I don't know. They feel fine. I mean, they're chrome molly, so they're going to go on a quarter inch drive impact gun, so they should hold up. Got a set of uh, quarter or three inch drive 12 point right sockets, right tool. I've got a set of, uh, these are the Husky ones, guys. They have held up really nicely. If I can get one out. Come on out. These are the Husky sockets, guys, pinless. They've held up really nicely. So if, you, if you're looking to get yourself a entry level set of pinless swivel sockets and metric, get yourself some Huskies, but be surprised. don't be surprised because they are like incomplete in terms of sizes. I don't know why they did what they did, but it absolutely makes no sense. And I don't even know where you can get the other ones from. So like, it's like eight, 10, 12, 22, 16, four. It's like, why in the hell did you guys do that? Like, that makes no sense. Absolutely no sense. And I got a set here of um, Snap-on mid-length quarter inch drive impact sockets. You cannot get these anymore. I have two sets of these, thank God, uh, but I carry these with me. And as you can see, they're dripping in oil. So I keep, sh I make sure these things do not rust. Uh, set of Vim low profile sockets over there. A couple random right tool sockets here. Full points, got a lot, bunch of SK sockets. This kind of stuff that I use on a, on a daily, on a frequent basis, you know, spark plug sockets. Then over here in the side little tray, I've got my quarter inch drives, ratchets, I've got knives, I got more sockets, more bits, extensions, swivels, things of that nature. And the front trough here, I got a long screwdriver, which doesn't belong there. I've got a half inch drive ratchet that's gonna go to my brother, Michael, um, because I promised him that I would give him one. So that's actually not mine anymore. I've got a quarter or a half inch drive standard length ratchet. I believe it or not, even though I get all these snap on ratchets, I still carry this old um, 60 tooth ratchet with me. And the reason why is because it's never failed in the field. Um, I'm, when I say the field, I'm talking salvage yards. I'm talking dirty, grimy, gritty, oily, um, you know, dirty environments. And, um, you know, this, this it's held up really nicely. So as long as it's working, I'm gonna keep it. Standard F80, like I said, you ain't, you're not a real mechanic unless you got one of these with you. Um, I'm not a mechanic, but I aspire to be one. Um, I got uh, my right tool, 3H drive in here. I got an old uh, Snap-on, like M71 or whatever it's called, MV71. It's actually nice for the size that it is. It fits in your hand really well. And uh, yeah, carry that with me. Got a quarter inch drive, long one in there from uh, Master Force. Quarter inch drive here with the 3H drive anvil. Uh, 
keep that guy in there and i got a regular quarter inch drive snap on as well so lots of high dollar tools for salvage yard box you guys probably are saying but it matters guys i want to have tools that don't break on me because a lot of times i'm in the field i'm doing things and i may not necessarily have all the experience so last thing i need is a tool that doesn't hold up so i'm not going to be using cheap tools out in the field um all my cutters there you know uh they're all klein knipex snap on vice grips i've got more screwdrivers that are tucked in the back there more knipex cutters there high leverage ones uh sk snap on screwdrivers a couple huskies there uh, more screwdrivers and other types of prying tools there all right hang on a minute guys my, my daughter's home okay sorry about that guys my daughter came home and i had to uh greet her so okay uh so we covered the top drawer and then we, let's go to the second drawer here. And these drawers are so packed, guys, it is hard to open them. And if in any event that I need to get in there, just know that I like move the box out and so, or move it back so I can have greater access. I just have it situated the way that it is just for, just to sit in here. I'm not trying to make it perfect for you, for, you know, viewing. Um, but uh, what else have we got in here? So this is my wrench drawer. So I got wrenches, I've got prying tools, I've got adjustable wrenches back there, more longer screwdrivers in the far back, and just all assorted wrenches. So I've got SAE, obviously, and metric all in this drawer. It can be anything from your traditional Craftsman angle wrenches, open and angle wrenches to some older style Cornwell box, double box ends, um, some older snap-on angle wrenches, um, newer snap-on wrenches there, Cornwell, Husky, Mac Tool, Craftsman USA, uh, Cobalt. I mean, I've got all of it in here. Um, I've got a little bit of everything, so I am not uh, prejudiced towards any tool brand when it, with the exception of Harbor Freight. There's no Harbor Freight uh, wrenches in this drawer here, only the good stuff. Uh, there is some gear wrench in there, but it's stuff like gear wrench 10 millimeter because like you will be a fool to not, if you see a 10 millimeter wrench and you don't pick it up off the ground, you're an idiot because you're always gonna need a 10. And then um, even have some stubby 10s. Look at that one. Isn't that like a really cool Blackhawk uh, adjustable wrench there, 10 millimeter? So, come on, actuate. There you go. So keep a lot of different wrenches in here because you never know what you're gonna need out there in the field. And uh, I like to make sure that if I have something, I may not grab it with when I first go out, but if I'm if I encounter like the problem and I says, oh well, I need a different type of wrench. It's nice to be able to run back to the truck. Wind's picking up. Sorry. It's nice to run back to the truck and be able to grab it. Um, and then I got like in the last drawer here, I've got things like Allen keys, a couple different sets, larger size wrenches. These are Knipex to snap on, snap on, rebranded. I got puller sets in here. Um, I've got a set of, I do have some um, Icon uh, SAE sockets down here. I've got some Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Pros, believe it or not. Some of my most used sockets, guys. Funny enough, I know people are going to dog on me about it. Jesus. Some of my most used sockets, meaning that I use these more than I use probably a lot of my other sockets. Um, but these work really great. And when you're out getting really dirty and you're really getting the job done um, and, you, you know, you're trying to you're up against the clock or whatever the case may be. I just go with these, man. I'm not trying to, like, care about what I'm doing. I'm trying to get the job done. And a lot of times just getting on these here. Um, it's all that you need and I don't care who you are. I know like my, I know CP and I are good buddies, man And we've had our differences in the past and it, it that's water under a bridge and I will support the guy uh, You know and everything he does but he said <laughs> I caught him off guard one day and I was like, dude I love Pittsburgh Pro Sockets and he's like what? <laughs> so CP dude, I'm telling you, bro um, These sockets hold up man. I, I'm I, I wish I wish that I could you know dog them and say and i don't know why i even wish i guess because harbor freight pisses me off so much sometimes just because they're, they're always snagging shit from everyone else and i just love to be able to throw it back on them whenever i can um to shit to say hey you guys are you know copycats but dude these sockets work great i mean i i probably will have these to the day that i die and i'm certain that i'll never break one i know people say oh i've broken them i, I never broke one and i have 
the biggest, baddest impact guns out there, and I've never broken one. Um, uh, um you know, multimeter in here because you need to have stuff like that with you, extra lines, uh, more pliers. Oh, I got another ratchet in here. This is one I picked up from a pawn shop for like dirt cheap. Um, re I cleaned it and uh, got her going. It's comfort grip. Just keep it in here because why not, you know? Got brushes in there, you know, because you need to clean things up sometimes, you know? Verify part numbers on things that you're pulling. Um, yeah, and then last but not least, I've got this. This is a long video. Uh, last but not least, I've got this right tool uh rent set here and uh it's an sae set they sent it to me for free and uh it's the flank drive style but they call it the right grip 2.0 and these wrenches are absolutely money they're this the right tool I'm all right i don't know where i dropped off at um so we're gonna try to pick this up wherever we can and uh get this all finished out so you guys saw what was inside of the staff box um what the other things i keep i have a uh let's keep a ct761 that i just threw in here I keep that in here um i have a bmw uh tire iron lug nut wrench i keep a can of starter fluid got some pb blast somewhere laying around here keep a can of that uh oh, over there um i have it's all kind of tucked on the side of the box over here. I have a set of actually Icon um, socket torque sockets. Those up for like 12 bucks. Um, a uh, SK, I think this is SK, no Cornwell. A Cornwell straight screwdriver that I use as a pry bar. Um, Sorry, getting all got a set of Weeha bits. There should be two of those. Another set here. These are Torx. Both of them, I believe, are well, no, Torx and Phillips. And then there's like a set of if I could get them here. A set of drill bits. Um so I keep back here. These are, I believe they're Bosch. Yep, keep those in there just in case and need them. Get a lonely screwdriver. So that's kind of what I keep in my service box. Um, anywhere I'm, anywhere, if you ever run across me and, and uh, out in the road, this is what I'm going to have with me at any given time. This is what I carry with me day in, day out. Um, it's just what I have. Uh, not that I need everything that's here, um, but I like to have everything that I think I possibly may need in, in, in any event that I do need something. So um, this is everything I carry with me. So hopefully you guys like the tour on my service box. Uh, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you carry with you on a daily. Uh, make sure that you guys are following me on Instagram. Like I said, at Midwest underscore tool underscore review. And leave a comment, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.